Start your engines. The Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix is back. It is the nation's largest vintage street racing event. There are 11 days full of parties and car shows and parades and, of course, races. Now, it all starts this Thursday. So here with a PTL first look on all the action is Dan Del Bianco, executive director of the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, and Jason Euler of the Great Pittsburgh Mustang Club. Thank you both for being out here today. And, Jason, I'll ask you first this car that I ran out and was sitting in it's beautiful tell us about this uh, thanks for having us it's a 1965 Shelby Mustang one of 525 streetcars produced uh, it was built in uh, Los Angeles actually at the LAX uh, airplane hangar along with the Shelby Cobras back in the day and I just want to walk Brian if we can walk up to this I just want to take a peek inside because do you drive this around Jason like do you drive this on the streets I do when I purchased the car it's always been a California car so it's all original sheet metal and so forth I bought it with 18,000 original miles and it now has 25,000 so I drive it and I don't baby it so you don't baby it. <laughs> I might baby it it's beautiful all right so we all know that you can see the cars in Shenley Park but there's actually racing that goes on as part of this elsewhere too right Tell us about that. That's correct. This weekend starting actually on Thursday, so this will be an extended weekend, Thursday through Sunday, the uh, Vintage Grand Prix will be at the Pit Race Complex on Route 18 out in Wampum, PA. It's a three-mile road course, and it will actually this year, with Shelby and Mustang being mark of the year of the Vintage Grand Prix, it's in conjunction with the National Shelby Convention that will be out there for this coming Pit Race weekend. So there'll be a lot of Shelbys, Mustangs, and Cobras out there racing. All right, very cool. All right, Dan, let's bring you in. We want to talk to you, too, because you, we, we always find out about the parties and the events that are happening as part of this. And once again, there are parties this time, both like, what, is it Wednesday and Thursday? So right across the river here, Wednesday, the 17th of July, is our tune-up at Heinz Field, where you park the cars outside around Heinz Field. We throw a party inside to, to raise money for charity. And then the next night's the Passport to Elegance Jet Center party at uh, West Mifflin in the county airport. And it's a wonderful party. We've got World War II planes coming in. We've got the new 2020 uh, Mustang GT500 will be there as well. And real quickly, tell us what is new this year, because it's always spectacular every year, and you always have something to surprise people, right? right so it's always the, the cars that are different. And uh, we have Roberto Clemente's car that he was awarded as the MVP of the 1971 World Series. It's a 72 Dodge Charger. That's coming into town. We have a rare uh, 6C3000 Alfa Romeo that was raced by Fangio and owned by Juan Peron and raced at Shenley back in 1984. Oh, okay. And it was totaled and now it's been rebuilt. And it it's was totaled back. and it it's coming back. In Shenley Park back in 84. That's cool. Well, and it's always a great event. And I know we're going to be talking to you more about it, Dan. So thank you both for joining us. And is it okay if I sit in the car one more time before we say goodbye? Because this is just, this is the coolest car. And, you know, Jason said he actually drives it out on the streets. I would be babying this deal. I would keep it in the garage if I had it. But uh, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you both for talking with us. And we want to let you know, again, the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix is July 11th through the 21st. That's 11 days filled with cars and parties and parades, all leading up to the race weekend. And look for the full schedule of events at PittsburghTodayLive.com. And keep watching here on PTL because next week we will be live. I need to stand up out of this car again. <laughs> it's hard to peek up at a camera when you're sitting in a car. Next week we're going to be live at Shenley Park for more on the the racing action that is coming our way.